My name is Chiyere. I come out here to thank God for what God do for me three weeks ago or two weeks ago, Monday. I felt sick in the midnight. So one spirit was telling me, go, leave your house, leave your house. Then I rushed down to this place. When I come to this place, I meet uh, prayer warriors. So they prayed for me. I stayed with them in the morning. In fact, I thank God I'm okay today in Jesus' name. Before the sickness, tell us the prophecy. Do we remember this woman? Tell us the prophecy you, before the sickness. Yes, uh, two weeks before that sickness, you tell me that people plan to throw poison for me. But it, it, I, as they are going to do my deliverance, it will not work. So after that week, the next week, I felt sick. And then, tell us how it is. Because that night, I was also here, isn't it? Yes. I was here too. Yes. Uh -huh. So when you tell us how you ran into this place, and what time? When I was sleeping. I sleep early, around that can 9, 30, 10. So around 11, 11, 11, 30 to 12. I just woke up. I, I tried to sleep. I can't sleep. All my body was shaking. All my body was shaking. So when I get up, something was telling me that don't sleep in this house. Oh. Don't sleep in this house. Go to church. Go to church. So when I, I just, I don't know what to do. I was restless. I did not even tell my husband. I just wear my clothes. I wait my husband. So yeah, let's go to church. Something was forcing me to open door. My husband said, wait, wait, wait. When he wear his clothes, then I will start coming here. I enter here with Ron. And in fact, I was, I was breathing like I want to faint that day. Around what time? Around after 12 to 1. After 12 to 1? Yes. Night. The, the night, night, midnight. You ran into this yes, place? Yes, yes. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. I prophesy that every plan of the enemy against your life shall never come near you. Let me prophesy again that every concluded plans of the enemies against your life that is waiting for the day, for the month, for the week, and for the time to manifest, we send it back to senders. I want you to declare three times, I shall live to testify the goodness of God in my life. the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we Amen. pray. Amen. And another testimony. Last, uh, last year, we traveled for my brother's traditional wedding. In fact, we'll do everything, we'll do everything and come back safely. I said, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Another testimony is about my daughter. She's sick for six, seven, uh, five, six years to seven years. So when I come here, mommy prophesies for me that if I see one of your daughter that is sick, go and bring her. She asked me where she is, my, that my daughter. I said my daughter is at home where they are treating her. She said it's a water spirit that I should go and bring her. In fact, when I go there, the man of God don't want to release her. So we we'll stay there and stay there. At the end, my husband said, you must bring this girl. So I thank God when I bring her here, in fact, sometimes she will run away. I will start pursuing her. So when I bring her here, mommy, try, mommy prayed and they do is a place on deliverance. But today she's okay. I said I will come and testify because anytime I want to testify, I will be ashamed. Something will tell me, don't testify. Don't testify. But I said today I must come and stand here and testify in Jesus' name. Amen. Where is that your daughter? Is she in church? No, now? she's not here now. Okay, she's not here yes. now. How long has she been in that place? For six, let me call it six years. Jesus. Since here she has been in that place, yes. that church. Yes. Eh, for treatment, what is the name of the sickness? Um, it, that is a uh, insanity. Insanity. Yes. Madness. Yes. Madness. Insanity. And then she has been there for six years in that place where they are treated. How are they treating her? Is it prayer or? Uh, I say prayer and uh, to do water something just like. It's better to hear it from the horse's mouth. When we are telling you to hold your Bible fast and well, and you read it so that you know what is inside, now they agree. Say it, Mama. 
You say water work. You just told water us. spirit. So they do their work. They are doing the work and the other things just like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So you send money. You send, of course, for that six years that you keep sending money. Money, everything, everything. Sending money and they are doing water, going to river. Isn't it? Yes. Buffing her, doing uh, different, different ritual, buying cow, I mean goat, animal, fat, not be so. Yes, so. Uh -huh. For six years, treating and trying to cure madness, spirit of insanity, but all to no avail. But as Almighty God, Jehovah Shammah, who is always merciful, yes, so. saw this gear here. According to our testimonial, he said, the God that walked here healed her daughter. I thank God for everything. May God, may his name be glorified forever in Jesus' name. How many sacrifices you do for this place? No, nothing. How, ma how much you pay? How many money you pay? No, money. nothing. Clap your hands for Jesus. <laughs> we rejoice with you. Thank you, ma'am. Your testimonies are permanent. Church, please, okay. can you stand up and stretch your hands towards her? Let us pray for her. Face people of God. Please stretch your hands towards her. I want us to ask God that. His protection should continually be upon this family. Every member of this family, God's protection should continually be upon them. Be with them. And let God have desire for this family come to pass. Prayer. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you, sister. We rejoice with you. Your testimonies are permanent. Praise God. My name is Miss Chidim. I'm coming from Lagos. Oh, my name's sake. Okay, go ahead. Um, on Thursday was my first time of coming here. That morning, um, my girlfriend invited me to come to this place with her for prayer. So when I woke up that morning, I was having this serious pain down here. And it wanted to discourage me from coming here. But I just took that courage and followed that to this place. When the prayer section was going on, I just believed that after the prayers, I will be healed. So when the music started, I was dancing to believe that that pain would stop, but it was still there. But there was a prayer mommy raised and said, if you know you're having issue with the health and stuff like that, just provide. And I prayed with the faith. After the prayer and everything, I no longer feel that pain down here anymore. Even till now, I'm okay now, I'm perfectly fine. Then another testimony is um, this Saturday that just passed. Ever since I opened my shop, I discovered that weekends, um, it's a salon. And on Saturdays is when people normally make their hair. But on Saturday, I discovered that we always sit down at the shop, we don't make hair. And you see some people, they'll just pass to make their hair in other salons. I was like, uh-uh, what is happening? So I came here with that faith. I told God that this shop I've opened, it will not go down. I need you to do a miracle. But this Saturday, I was at my shop working till around 10. And people were calling me on the phone. People were like, they want to come and make their hair. I was like, I'm available anytime, any day. And they was like, even as I'm talking to you now, my stylist is at the shop making hair for people. I say, this God, I have done it. Let her continue this work. Holy Ghost, fire! <laughs> Hallelujah. Today is Sunday. Well, we give thanks to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you understanding that testimony? This past Thursday is our first time of coming here. Amen. When she came and she did deliverance here, to the glory of God, God took away the stomach problem. And she said since she opened her shop, she's a stylist. Every weekend, people don't come. And you know, it's weekend that is their time now. But people will pass. They will go to another shop and make their hair, but they will not enter their own. They will be sitting down, watching and looking at people. But after her deliverance on Friday, Saturday being the next day, she said she started working from morning till 10 night morning in the morning saturday to 10 p.m and even as she is now 
Even as she's standing here, that her, her prayer, her, her workers, her stylists are still are working there now. Her phone is ringing. People are calling her from here, from there. That will be your portion from today. Amen. Every door the enemy closes in your life, because we are here, we open it. Amen. Because you are alive, we open it. Every good door is opened. Every door of favor is opened. Every door of blessings are opened. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, can you shout a loud amen? Amen. Thursday was just your first time of coming here. We want to know how long have you been in that shop? I opened it two months ago. Two months ago. Yes. And since that two months, no work, no nothing, yeah, every weekend. Yes. Now, what advice do you have for people that are open shop or they are doing business or something is not moving? You come to church, isn't it? Yes, and they yes. go to wrong places. Like in Babalao, native. I mean, Babalao, you do that for you. <laughs> no, it's not. Shabina God. Yes. For yes. church. Advise those people that are going to Babalao. Advice is if you're serving God, serve Him faithfully. Just believe that He's ready to answer you and be sincere in whatever you're doing. Don't go magumago or crooked way. Just believe and have that faith. He will continue to do his work. She speak grandma. Isn't it? Clap your hand for Jesus. If you are serving God, have that faith. Don't go crooked, crooked way. She mean is maybe going to bring out more power. The God that have eyes but they cannot see. After you blow the powder, your life still the worst. Many people are doing deliverance today from what they contacted, demons, problem they contacted from where they went to in search of help. Many. That will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Sister, we rejoice with you. That miracle, your testimony is a permanent in Jesus' name. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. I want you to stand up and confess, I can never be a loser. Because I have Jesus Christ. I can never be a loser. In my career. In my marriage. I can never be a loser. Financially. In my family. I can never be a loser. Because I have Jesus. Jesus is the king of kings. Jesus is the winner. He is the highest. And I'm connected to him. Clap your hands for Jesus. Brother, God bless you. Tell us your name, where you are coming from, and what our Lord has done for you. Justifiers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Roland. I'm coming from Lagos. My testimony goes like this. I want to thank God for his grace, for his love upon my life and my family. And I want to thank God for making me a father because it's not easy clap your hands for jesus christ you think it's easy for somebody to be a father do you hear that my god and i want to also thank mommy for standing by us me and my wife for years that we have been looking for fruit of womb for close to Eight years now, I've been married, no child. My people, my wife people, all of them, they are disturbing, they are calling. They are asking, what is the problem? Both my friends, people that, married before, the people that I married before them, all of them, they are asking, all of them are asking me, boss, how far, what is happening? Ah, this one, this, I say, my brother, cool down. When it is time of God, God will do it at his own time. That is what I always tell them. So last year, during there is a program that we are doing here. Mommy now the mommy now call all the women that is looking for a child. They, they should come outside. So my wife was among them. She came outside, they wrote a paper and threw it at the altar. Now mommy said, if you know that you are looking for child, you are come pick any date, anything, pick. And my wife was among people that picked that paper that very day. 
So after that day, the, the date my wife picked, that month did not pass her by. And another one, another one, the day we are doing the program here, uh, ordination, there was many people here, many people that mommy want to ordain. Mommy now said, I want to make them to prophesy. So mommy now pray for them. They now go in one place to be prophesying. One now go where my wife was seated. She now call her out, say, Mommy, ask this woman what was happening on her womb. My mommy now asked her, after everything, mom, she now tell mommy that mommy should pray. Mommy said, no, you pray. And uh, she prayed. After everything, she, my wife now conceived. During the time of her pregnancy, many things was happening. My wife, her BP was going higher, 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 higher every day. I was thinking, say, ah, why, why, why all these things are happening? I was asking God, say, God, but you are the one that gave me this miracle. Why these things are happening? So uh, one day I came to church. Mom may not ask me, what about my wife? I said, mommy, she's fine. But look at what is happening. Mommy said, ah, I should tell her to come. I said, okay. I go to home that very day. And I tell my wife, say, mommy say you should come home. On Tuesday that very day, during counseling, my wife now came to the church, meet mommy. Mommy now placed her on deliverance. After her deliverance, she go home. Mommy, uh, after her deliverance, she got home. During the, because that week, workers, the, we are having the workers program. Now, all, mommy now call all the workers, they should surround her and pray for her. After, her, after the prayers, mommy now say, no, the prayers, the, this thing are, are not clear, that she should come back. My wife now come back. After, even my wife was on her deliverance before that very day. She now went to hospital. Even though the doctor have already booked, booked her for operation. But the luck, the luck and the grace that God gave to us, that very day was public holidays on Wednesday, June 12th. Uh, that very day, doctor have booked her operation. Even without, we don't even know that doctor have booked operation for her. So reaching, to, reaching uh, Wednesday midnight, my wife now put to bed of a bouncing baby girl. Can somebody stand up? Keep coming. Three times, three times, three times. Number one. Number two. Three. What a mighty God. What a glorious God. What a covenant keeping God. What a dependable daddy. Somebody, can you call him my daddy? Say my daddy. Call God. Say my daddy. Is he your daddy? Is he your daddy? Call him with love. With love and it twice him. Say I'm my daddy. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. You said close to eight years. Yes, ma'am. Close to eight years. Yes, ma'am. Your wife has been look you've been looking for fruit of the womb. Yes, ma'am. No baby. No child. What yes. a mighty God. Sing that song. Sir. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and have done you. I never before. You. What a mighty God we serve. Hey. My God. Go, go. My God. My God. If I take Kalapo Shantali Prakato, Suntalaba Lekete. Hey, hey, My Katalaba. Whatever and everything you are believing God for, today receive yours. 
everything you are looking up to God for. I used to tell people, God is too faithful to fail. He is always dependable, reliable, undisputable. He is always confidential and a confidential God to us. And is always available to reach us. I prophesy, whatever you are believing God for, receive. Hey, receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Close to eight years. You know, easy. Close to eight years. A lot of these dead men. A lot of mockery. A lot of mockery. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of discouragement. A lot of, a lot, a lot. But yet, at the end, Jehovah wiped away their tears. Yes, I'm aware. When they say the BP, what they call, I shouted. I said, hey, you is a lie. I said, come here. Come here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you stand up and tell three person, keep trusting God. Eh? He's faithful. He can't fail you. He's faithful. He cannot fail you. Never, never, never. Your mama may fail you. Your papa may fail you. Your friends may fail you. Your sister may, even your pastor may fail you. But Jehovah no day fail. Keep trusting him. Hallelujah. Amen. What advice do you have for people? Your own is close to eight years. And today, God has broken the yoke. Even when they book up oppression, I'm aware. They book up oppression because of the high BP. The blood pressure was too high, too high. But the Lord did it that no oppression, she delivered safely. A bouncing baby yeah. girl. Even before she entered that favor room, because we call it favor room, mm -hmm. her BP was 195 something before she entered. <laughs> but at the end, God took the glory. Self delivery man. Self delivery. No tear, no razor, no knife, no cutting. She delivered safely. Oh. I want you to say to somebody, rise up and say to somebody. If you are under a prophetic grace, talk to somebody. And you have problem. You don't know the grace that is operating there. Look for the grace. It's there. It's around you. Do something and hold the garment of the grace very, very tight and your problem will disappear. All the workers, they know what I'm talking about. That day we stayed from morning to morning. Morning to morning and then night. Hallelujah. And the night. See where I sit down. Now here I sit down. I don't stand up. Oh. Now here I sit down. They do everything. And here I sit down. They do everything. Jehovah answered our prayers. And today, our brother that is looking for fruit of the womb, close to 80 years now, is a father. Oh, as many of you that are looking for fruit of the womb, God will make you a father, God will make you a mother. And if you are a father already, you are a mother already, but you need more, and the enemy say no, wait for God. Any moment from now, it will enter. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What advice do you have for people that are looking for fruit on the womb and those that are watching you now all over the world? My advice from, for those people that are looking for fruit of womb, that they should stop going from one place to the another. They should stop going from harbourless because they cannot see anything there. They should only believe in God, trust in God, and God that did it for me will do it for you. Oh now. my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. We rejoice with you. Your testimonies, your miracles are permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ.